The story of Elizabeth and Zachariah, a story of patience and trust. The story of Elizabeth and Zachariah can be found in the Gospel of Luke. They would become the parents of John the Baptist, a cousin of Jesus Christ. The story begins in Judea at the time of Herod the Great. Both Zechariah the priest and his wife Elizabeth were a faithful, righteous old couple. One of their sadnesses was that they were childless. They were past the childbearing age, but nothing is impossible with God. Luke chapter 1, verse 11 and following. And there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And Zechariah was troubled when he saw him, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great before the Lord, and he shall drink no wine, nor strong drink. And he will be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready for the Lord a people prepared. And Zacharias said to the angel, How shall I know this? For I am an old man, and my wife is advanced in years. And the angel answered him, I am Gabriel, who stand in the presence of God, and I was sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news. Why was Zechariah fearful instead of joyous? Why did he doubt Gabriel's message? Just like the rest of us, Zechariah was human and possessed a natural human fear of the unusual or unproven events. Zechariah was so upset he had forgot the biblical story of Abraham and Sarah conceiving Isaac when Abraham was 100 and Sarah was 90. Luke continues, chapter 1, verse 20. And behold, you will be silent and unable to speak until the day that these things come to pass, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. Was Zechariah being punished by Gabriel for his disbelief? No. Every day of silence proved to both Zechariah and Elizabeth that what the angel told them was in the process of fulfillment. Sometimes we look upon adversity as punishment when actually it is designed to strengthen us spiritually. Zechariah would now return home and tell, excuse me, would write out a statement of what had been predicted for Elizabeth to read. Zechariah and Elizabeth had to be patient, trusting, and faithful while the prophecy was being fulfilled. Both knew that they could trust God to keep his promises. John would be born to Elizabeth, and Zechariah's ability to speak would return. In Luke 1, 39-45, we read about Mary's visit to Elizabeth. Both women became pregnant outside the normal course of human events. The announcement of the future births were both made by the angel Gabriel. Both Zechariah and Joseph doubted. Both Zechariah and Joseph had angels explain the coming events to them. Both couples demonstrated extraordinary faith, trust, and patience. Both couples were richly rewarded with sons who would forever change the world.